Do your walls need patching and repainting? We hear you. Sharon's back with some tips for you. This is, think about this as you, you've got your art on the wall, you've got pictures on the wall, and then you take them down and you want to move them, and there are those pesky holes yes. still there. What do you do about and that? And those art collections that we all love so much, mm -hmm. they do cause havoc. They do. <laughs> so I've got two here because behind all of my pictures, there's at least two holes. So I yes. thought, let's be realistic. <laughs> so the problem is when you take it off, especially if you've got a screw, not only do you have the hole, but it actually leaves texture, like the drywall paper actually comes up. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah. it comes up. So you've got texture. So not only do you have to fill that, if you don't fix it from the beginning, you're going to end up with more of a problem. So just simply like this, just take the end of your putty knife and just get all your frustrations out. <laughs> Because ideally you want it to be flat. You don't exactly. want there to be a bump anymore. You want it to be flat. And then when you know, okay, you know what, you can feel it. Like it's really simple. You can feel it. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I love this pink putty because you can tell when it's ready to um, spot prime, it turns white. So you ah. fill the hole. If you've got really big holes in your wall, it might take a little bit more putty. So you might want to put it in, let it sit, and then go back and do a second coat. Because I can already see this one. I might need to do it again. So just get as much of it off, off as you can. Okay. And then you're good. So you're going to let that dry. Yeah. And then it's really important to sand. So I think the fixing the holes doesn't seem so bad. But then afterwards, sometimes you got your wall all nicely painted, but you can still see where all the holes were. Yes. So that's why it's really, really important to sand. And I talk about sanding all the time. Like all if you're doing a deck, if you're doing your walls, sanding is so important. So here you can see I've got that sort of chunky dried, so it's white now, that dried putty. And then I'm gonna sand it. And you can see I put quite a bit on, but I tend to put more on mm -hmm. um, so that hopefully, I have to do a little bit more sanding, but it gets nice and smooth. So you want to do that and then you want to take it off not with your paintbrush usually but it's TV we're gonna do that right now <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have the dust off then you possibly even want now. to clean it. it's much smoother mm -hmm. right like you can't it, you can still see it but you can't feel it yeah then it's important though to spot prime so you can see over here I used um, Benjamin Moore's fresh start I just love that primer for everything I did that over the patches because the putty is a different porosity than your wall so if you don't and you'll see when I paint over here um, it's important, actually, I'll mention this as well, whether you're going to use a brush, if it's just a small um, hole, you might just use a brush rather than a roller, but if it's a whole wall, it's just easier to do a roller. So when you go over it, and if you can see the spots that I didn't spot prime, Oh yeah. you can already still see it. it bump, it's bump, bump, bump. And these are, you know, seamless. It's smoother because the, mm -hmm. the paint takes the same on here as it does on the patch mark because you've used that primer. So really important to use a spot, to use primer just as a spot. You don't have to prime your whole wall. Right. And you can see I had shadow over top of that white. It still covers well. But again, you also want to use the same texture. And Tracy, you've got these nice ones. I don't want to touch them. Oh, they feel so good. <laughs> so this is like a 15 millimeter pile and okay. this is more of a 10 millimeter pile. So you want to think about um, the finish that you're matching it up with so that you don't see any marks. Got it. Okay. Because that will make it look disjointed as well. Exactly. So you want to feather it out. So one final thing, you know, it's, it's not so much painting. If you get really good paint, yeah. like Benjamin Moore, you can wash your walls. Right. So this is your kids that had yes. spaghetti and then put their hand <laughs> against the wall. Exactly. So there's lots of products out there, but what I've been finding lately is trying to use more natural product, things that I have around the house. So yeah. I, I found that baking soda, tiny little bit of water, yeah. mix it up. Baking soda is so fine, so it's not going to be abrasive. Yeah. But when you've got a mark that doesn't come off with just water, because sometimes you can just use water and it'll come off fine. If it doesn't, yeah, see that didn't. 